the grain, man, you must don't lost your brain. False teachers seeing sneakers, y'all some hard-headed creatures. Stay up in your lane, and you know we gonna swing. Swore hitting hard, now it's time for the blame game. I tell 58, cry loud every gate. Baby boy bucking on the scene, the word he can't take. Take he for goodness sake, take he for goodness sake. The most side coming soon, I can't wait for that day. Had a running with the fam, man, you know who I am. Y'all, let's just keep it real, which hand you gon' deal? You gon' serve God or that old rusty dollar bill? I'm just trying to keep the seal. Romans 12 all the time, yeah, I'm working on my mind. Told you it's the last time. Go your butt up, keep these laws, be a man, get in line. Yeah, that roll bittersweet, and that thing I'm gon' eat. They gon' lift me up, and these laws, yeah, I'm gonna keep. It's the last time, the last time, the last time, it's the last time, the last time, you see the signs, Lord, keep me going in strong, can't miss this ride, Lord, keep me going in strong, can't miss this ride, it's the last time, the last time, the last time, it's the last time, the last time, you see these signs, Lord, keep me going in strong, can't miss this ride, Lord, keep me going in strong, can't miss this ride. Fifteen. My brother, are you familiar with the story of Moses? Yes, and who is he speaking to? Right now, I, I can't even tell you. This is where I have everything. Uh -huh. Look at here. Let's get the history. Deuteronomy 28 15. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments, and his statutes which I command thee this day. So he's talking to the children of Israel. The, the, the times you're talking about is when we was with Pharaoh. We're not talking about that. So, so when, when the Most High God led him out of Egypt, what, what was his job to do now? Now that he knows who, see that's why it's so important to know who you are. What happened to Moses for him to, to go away and find who, who he's supposed to be and what he's supposed to do? What did he find out? What you about to find out right now. You see what I'm saying? Yes, sir. All right, read that one more time. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So Moses talking to the children of Israel. He's saying it shall come to pass. When you hear that word shall, he's telling you something that's going to happen in the future. This hasn't happened yet. Remember, this book is when thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago. Hold on, Daniel. I'm going to get your question. Just hold on. Let God speak, all right? All right, all right. Just give me a second. So it's something that's going to happen to a particular people. Now, he's only talking to one people, my brother. Is he talking to the whole world? Is he talking to the so-called white man? Let's be real. Let's be real about this. All right, so he's saying it shall happen. What's going to happen, Reed? If, But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments. To observe, to do all. Stay, stay with me. Stay with me, my brother. It's always distractions. Always. It says, read that part again. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you won't listen to God, to observe, to do all his commandments. No, the so-called pastors say the commandments of God are done away with what did God say. To observe, to do all his commandments. This is the big problem. This is the most high God center focus. He needs these particular people to come back to their commandments. All right, read on. And his statutes, which I command thee this day. What's going to happen to them? That all these curses. All these what? All these curses. Is curses a good thing or a bad thing? Have you ever heard of a good curse? Have you ever heard somebody say, I curse you, brother. I'm going to curse you with all types of curses. And I hope you leave it wrong. No. What's the opposite of a curse? A blessing. So according to the Bible, blessing and curse are two opposite things. So what is Moses telling the children of Israel? Something terrible is going to happen to those particular people. Now let's get the details. These things about to happen to these people never happened to nobody else on this planet. Verse 16. Verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city. How you doing, my brother? How you doing? We're going over who we are according to the Bible. It's time to get soft food. Let's learn who we are according to the Bible. You, did you hear that, my brother? My brother, what's your name? What's your name? Eric. Aaron. Aaron. I'm Joel. Eric. 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 I'm Joel. Preston. Wesley. Preston. 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 Aaron. Okay. I'm Joel. Nice to meet y'all. So let's go to verse 16. Now we know the curses will be put on the Israelites. Let's find out who the Israelites are today. Verse 16. 
Verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in that city. So Moses is speaking to the children of Israel. God commanded him to tell the children of Israel, everywhere you go in this future prophecy, you will be cursed in the city. Every city you go to, Aaron and Preston, which particular people are living in the worst conditions? You all. Yo. The so-called Mexicans, Native Americans, and who else? The so-called black man. Me. Let's get some examples. Poor roads. Stores are not being ran by us. They are being ran by who? Our oppressors. Bad schooling systems. Hold on, Daniel. We're gonna get your statement. All right. Just give me a second. Bad schooling systems. These these are examples of when he said, "Cursed shall that be where? Cursed shall that be in that city? Anywhere you go to, it ain't gotta be America." You got to get your mind and expand to what God is saying. The children of Israel were spread all abroad, the four corners of the earth. When you go to China, do they love or do they hate the so-called black man? They hate him. In the store, that just happened recently, the so-called so -called Chinese man was slapping our black sister around, putting his hands on him. The Bible is telling letting us know who we are. Let's get some more, though. Let's get some more. Read. And cursed shall thou be in the field. And cursed shall thy be in the field. When did this happen, Aaron? Cursed shall thy be in the field. When did this happen? What were we picking? What were our ancestors picking on the day of so-called on on July the fourth? What was their picking? What was going on? They was picking what? What cotton? What? What a cotton? What? What type of? This is a, what type of field? A cotton field. Read that again. A curse shall thou be in the field. And curse shall thou be in the field. So you may say, man, this is kind of vague. It makes sense, but it's still some missing. Oh, the most high God going, he going to hit it on the nail. Just be patient with it. Go to verse 32. Verse 32. Hold on, Daniel. We find out who we are according to the Bible. Verse 32. Read on. Verse 32. Thy sons. And thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Moses was prophesizing to the children of Israel. He said, if you broke God's commandments, you all keep this in memory. The commandments of God, the reasons why these things are happening. Then and now. He said, if you break these commandments, what was going to happen to your children? Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. He said, your sons and your daughters were going to be given unto another people. What's going on on this auction block right here? Who's getting sold off? Uh huh. And what is he holding? What is he holding in his hand? Oh. Preston, what is he holding? That's all right, man. What is he? What is he holding? What is, is this? A she or he? What is they holding in their hand? A uh, what? It's a baby. Read that again. Verse thirty-two. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Prophecy. But let's see if this really talking about us. Let's get some more. Keep reading. And thy eyes shall look and bow with longing for them. So he said that the Israelites' eyes, the individual people, okay. in the future he's seeing this. He's saying that your eyes were going to be longing and failing for them, yearning for them. Which particular people this ever happened to? Who said us? Who seen 12 years of slavery? Y'all remember that movie? You remember that? You remember the woman sitting on the porch? She was sitting on the porch. What was she doing? Crying when, when her kids got taken away. What was she doing? She was crying out. Read that again. And thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no might in thine hand. There wasn't going to be nothing you can do about it. The Most High God said there wasn't going to be no might in your hand. There was going to be nothing you can do about it. Still going on today. When the so police officers, the police officers take your brother and gun him down over 40 times. What can you do about it, Aaron? What can you do about it, Preston? Oh, let's put some t-shirts on and walk around in the roads and say, free us, free us, free us. Has that, has that helped yet, Preston? Has that helped yet, Aaron? It has not. Read that again. Verse 32. Dice, oh, and there shall be no might in thy head. There's nothing you can do about it. Why? Because our people still is breaking the commandments of God. That's still going on. Give me verse 48. Verse 48. Watch this. 
The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemy. Uh oh. The Bible getting very specific okay, now. Right you like that part? Preston, I'll pray. He know a little something. Hold on, Danielle. Hold on. Hold your peace. Hold your peace. So the Bible said what? Excuse me, Danielle. Watch your feet. Watch your feet. Read that. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemy. Why? Read the verse before. Verse 40, 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. For the abundance of all things. They said you was going to serve your who? Thine enemy. What did the Most High God call these individuals that put you into slavery? Thine enemy. What about the so-called Arab? He did it too. The so-called China man. He did it too. They did it. Right. How do you think you're a Muslim if the Arabs put you into slavery? Right. That's crazy. Because we went into slavery, we was going to fall into other religions. That's what happened to us. What religion are we in? Yeah, yes, sir. I'm just saying. All praise. That's a good question. What we notice we're speaking. What, what we're speaking at with Most High God is letting us know out in the Bible. Is this a religion? Think about it. What does religion say? So-called Christianity. So-called Baptist. What does God say to do? Do you know? May I say so? Ecclesiastes 12 and 12. We're going to go back to the history. Because we're not teaching religion. The Bible has nothing to do with religion. That's man-made. Man-made. Why do you think it's over about five religions on the one book? Hold on, Danielle. We're going to who we are according to the Bible. Your question was Tim Titus 3 and 3. We're not going to get there right now. All right? We're getting who we are according to the Bible. Watch this. Read. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. So let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Period. No more talk about religion. Let's see what God say. Read. Fear God. Fear who? Fear God. And keep his commandments. Fear God and do what? Keep his commandments. That's all the most high God ever told the children of Israel to do. It's to keep the commandments. Do you think that's in the New Testament? Do you think that's in the New Testament? Man, Revelation 14 and 12. Let's go to the last book of the Bible. It's repeated throughout the whole Bible. Don't never let nobody fool you unless somebody tell you that the Old Testament is saying something different from the New Testament. It's not it's saying the exact same thing. These people just don't have an understanding of the Bible because they're not doing one thing. It's something that God just said. But let's get it in the New Testament. Read. The book of Revelation, chapter 22 and verse 14. Black. 14 and 12. 14 and 12. Revelation 14 and 12. Because some of our people think all you got to do is believe on Christ. Let's see what the last book of the Bible says. Read. The book of Revelation, chapter 14 and verse 12. Here's the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep his commandments. Here are they that do what? Keep the commandments. Here are they that do what? Keep the commandments. Ain't that what the Old Testament just said? Read on. Of God. Of who? Of God. And do what else? And the faith of Jesus. You got to have both, my brother. You got to have both. See, your so-called pastors sit up in that church and they teach all you got to do is believe, believe, believe. If you believe in something, aren't you going to do it? If you believe there's a thousand dollars behind this, this truck right here, if you believe it there, ain't you going to go over there and get it? If the Most High God said, if you keep the commandments of God, I'm going to give you the kingdom of heaven. What you supposed to do? Keep the what? The commandments. That's what believe means. Sirach 32 um, and 3. Sirach. That's what I want. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Danielle. We're we going to get who we are according to the Bible, because I heard your question. We're not going to get there right now, all right? Just give me a little time, all right? We got you, though. Read that, believe. Oh the book of Sirach, chapter 32 and verse 20, 24. He that believe it in the Lord. Take well, hold on, slow it down, because we're going up to believe. Now, we just read from the old and the new. You got to keep the commandments, right? Let's see what an individual does that actually believe in this Bible. Read. He that believeth in the Lord. He that believeth in the Lord. Who is Lord? Who is the Lord? Jesus, right? Watch this. Take heed to the commandment. What do you do? Take heed to the commandment. If you believe in the black Messiah, you take heed to the commandments of God. This thus said the Lord. Now let's go back to who we are. Now that you understand there's no religion in the Bible, God just tells you to do what? Believe. Believe and trust in God. And, and do what else, my brother? 
my brother. We just went over three scriptures of what God told us we got to do in order to believe. What does the Most High God keep repeating in all these scriptures? That's why we got, I want you to read that thing slow. Read it again. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 32 and verse 24. Watch out, watch out, bro. He that believeth in the Lord. So he that believeth. Hey, my brother in the back, walk, uh, Preston. Now you know that you're an Israelite according to the Bible. What do you got to do, my brother? To the what? What's taking so long, Preston? Look Come talk to me. Hold on, Daniel. Come talk to me. Aaron, hey, let me read this for Aaron. I got you. Stay with me. Because I know you got to go. I know you got to go. Let the brother hold just five minutes. Read. He that believeth in the Lord. Take it. He. He. Hold on. He that believeth in the Lord. What do they got to do to believe? Take heed to the commandment. They do what? Take heed to the commandment. The old and the New Testament saying the same thing, my brother. All you got to do is keep the commandments of God. There is no religion. Keep the commandments. Your pastor is teaching that the commandments of God are done away with. That's religion. Man made. All right? This is what said the Lord. You got that? Keep the commandments. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.